August for many of us means the start of a new school year for our children. And for many of us, it means writing big tuition checks to colleges and universities. But for those who have planned ahead for college expenses, writing those checks can be a lot less painful. Joining us now is Philip Waddles, Senior Institutional Relationship Manager for the College Choice 529 Direct Savings Plan, to share some information about this unique college savings program that is so beneficial to Hoosier families. Philip, welcome to NAFA Indiana this month. Thank you for having me. I keep reading about Hoosiers finishing college with crippling student debt and parents depleting their retirement savings in order to give their children a quality education. Isn't there a better way? Yes. Joe, there's Indiana's college choice. Once again, thank you for having me, Joe. Uh, today, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about Indiana's college choice 529 plan. And honestly, today we're just going to talk about some simple things that I think we need to all be aware of as we move forward and in going into this great school season. Obviously, the average cost of attendance continues to increase, which is why I think this is a beautiful tool to add to your toolbox. Right. I think it's critical that we explain to our parents that that tuition continues to go up and we don't see that trending in, uh, downward anytime soon. Almost 60 percent of students in our state are leaving with some type of student loan debt. So we want you to be aware of that. And then I think one of the biggest caveats that we don't talk about is only 33% of kids a day are graduating in four years. So guess what? When you're talking about a financial plan, really you need to be talking about a five-year projectory of some type of cost today. So that's something to, to, to really uh, pay attention to as you sit down with your clients and you're talking today about the College Choice 529. But at the end of the day, I think the main message I want to tell everyone is saving any amount can help promote expectations of attending and completing post high school education and saving any amount can also help potentially reduce or eliminate the need for costly student loans. And that is the main message of College Choice 529. Obviously, when you sit down with your clients, I think the biggest jet fuel for the College Choice 529 is Indiana's great tax credit. And so let's talk about that a little bit, just so we really understand how that will affect most of our families. That is a thousand dollar credit per household. So let me explain that in detail. Obviously, if you file jointly, you would receive a thousand dollar credit. If you are a single filer, you would see, receive a thousand dollar credit. However, if you are a married couple and you file a, a single each, the most the state will credit you back is five hundred dollars each. And that has been a recent change. So I just want you guys to be aware of that as we move forward. Uh, that does come up. And just remember that that is a thousand dollar per household credit. That is not per student. That is not per account. That is a per household credit. I think another thing I want to make sure that everyone understands is you do not have to be an account holder to receive the Indiana state tax credit. So please get friends and families to contribute to Indiana's College Choice 529 plan. As long as you have a good receipt of that contribution, they would now be eligible for the state tax credit. Now, the biggest thing we want to talk about going into 2021, 2022 are some of the recent changes on what we would call qualified withdrawals. And so I really want to spend a little bit of time on this, especially for those of you who have families are going to be asking about the tax credit and K through 12 education. We're starting to see that become a bigger trend in our space. So I'm going to make you aware of that and how that looks in the state of Indiana. Obviously, as far as a qualified withdrawal, Anytime you're talking about uh, anything attributed to the cost of college, you're going to be good. So obviously tuition, housing, books, things of that nature, whether it's in-state, out-of-state institutions, you're fine. But as far as K through 12 education, remember that is for tuition only and it must be an Indiana school. OK, so so, for example, if you live in Clarksville and you send your child to a private school in Louisville, Kentucky, now the state has the right to recapture that state tax credit. And so please read through the disclosure language so you understand what the state means when they say they have the right to recapture the state tax credit. We recognize federal legislation when it comes to a K through 12 qualified withdrawal. Just understand, though, in the state of Indiana, they limit you to a, a state, a, a Indiana state school. If you go out of state, the state reserves the right to recapture the state tax credit. The last point I want to make is the lifetime $10,000 per, 
per beneficiary for student loan repayment. The state has deemed they also are allowed the right to recapture that as well for the state tax credit. So what that means is we recognize it federally. However, in the state of Indiana, if you lose it, use it for the lifetime $10,000 repayment per beneficiary, the state reserves the right to recapture the state tax credit. So it's very simple. You may not want to use the College Choice 529 for the uh, lifetime $10,000 student loan repayment. I may tell you at this time, maybe you look at a different plan only for the fact that the state does the right to reserve the, the state tax credit in that particular uh, withdrawal. So once again, uh, good luck everyone this year. I, I really wanna thank Joe and Nafer for having me again. You guys are some of our biggest fans and we really appreciate you supporting the plan. This is my information. Feel free to uh, email me or call me if you have further questions. I am happy to send you uh, direct brochures or even come out and present to groups. <coughs> also, uh, we have a colleague of mine by the name of Patty Avers. She promotes the advisor plan, but just understand that I am the direct plan contact. So once again, I want to thank Joe and Nathan for having me, and uh, you guys have a, have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Philip. That's great information. I'm sure our members can use it to help Hoosier families everywhere.